Uh, we actually worked on you know, over a couple different periods and kind of cheated on our um, sidewalks were completely blocked, and that uh, that would be the north side, side in which you guys live on. So we are going to we have an ordinance prepared to <coughs> prohibit parking on that side um, in certain areas. Okay, but the reason people have to get up on that sidewalk is because of the speed that people come flying down around that turn. <laughs> It's I mean, we've lived with this for, I don't know how many years. I've been here 38 years, and that's the way we've been doing it. Exactly. And I have some pictures on my phone I can show you. We use a rule of thumb that if you cannot get a baby carriage through the sidewalk uh, for someone walking on it, then that's a problem. Well, and then you got it on Baldwin Street, too, because I had a Porsche stroller down there sat Sunday, and I had to go out of the street. But it was no, I didn't, didn't bother me none. Well... It, it might not bother you, but it bothered someone enough that they called and complained, and that's why we went down to look at it. The reason and they're saying their cars are going down there for speed, and they're yeah. asking people to walk on the street when you have the speed cars. So then we got two problems then, right? Instead of just changing the parking on the street. There's nowhere where we could put our cars. Well, one of the things that we considered was, you know, the most of the residents, and I'm not sure if you or the others in the audience do, but most of the residents on that side do have the alleyway and some parking in the rear of the residence. The street from my house. The problem lies in the public safety. And when that sidewalk is completely blocked and no one can walk through there, that's a problem. Uh, we've got, we had to address it. You know, if, if someone, if a pedestrian walked outside, the, or went around a car and went in the street and got hit, uh, you know, we I would have to do it. That either, I don't, it's either wider roads or slow down the traffic or I don't know. So you say that we're not allowed to park the sidewalk, and this is going to make me sound like a, you know, whatever you want to call it. But so if we're not allowed to block the sidewalk, where do you want me to put my trash on trash day? Because it totally blocks the sidewalk every Wednesday morning when I put out my trash. We're, listen, we're not. I'm not here to debate where, where your garbage is going to get. Well, you're saying there. that we can't block the sidewalk because people can't walk down it. So I'm asking you a legitimate question. Where do you want me okay. to put my garbage? I'm, I'm going to suggest that the sidewalk should be wide enough for you to get your garbage it's cans not. and allow for a baby stroller to walk by. But, you know, I, I can't imagine that it's not. Well, I agree with Charlie that you should let people park on our side of the street because there's additional parking. And all you have to do is have people not park for like the last 15 or 20 feet where the bend is, and then people will be able to get on the turn. Well, I, you know, I'll leave it at this. We met as a committee, and we met with four or five additional councilmen that went down there and looked at this issue. Yep. And we needed to protect the, you know, the, the pedestrians, so we came up with the best solution that we could. Okay, so. you're going to see me at these meetings a lot because there's a lot of things I have to complain about that you're going to need to fix. Yes, um, I just wanted to touch back on this parking ordinance issue on Mill Street. I know a few of the people have left, but this wasn't something we just did a knee-jerk reaction on and created this ordinance. We've actually met, I believe, two or three times over a period of about two years discussing this before we tried, before we started to put this into place. So this has been an ongoing issue up there. Um, I know I drove, Bruce, we drove around the car one morning, too, before we finalized this to get the areas certain where we wanted to make no parking and allow the parking. Also, part of this new ordinance, there will be, we sh there should be new signage installed indicating where you can't park. Where we can, we will paint the curbs yellow also to show where you can't park. And I believe we covered the issue when we get up near the intersection where Mill Street turns into Main and intersects with Cook School Road where you can't park within 30 feet of that stop sign. So we, had, we did put a lot of thought into this. This wasn't something that was just thought up overnight and we thought, oh, hey, one person's complaining, we're going to do this. This has been going on for a couple of years.